Good day, peeps, and welcome to Cyberpunk Bartender Action VA11 Hall A, which is ba it's basically Valhalla. So I've actually been wanting to play this game for some time. I didn't quite know how I was going to put it into a video format, because from all I know, the game is 10 hours long. It's basically a visual novel in a way, but it's also stylized and made in such a way that it doesn't necessarily have to fit to visual novel lovers. Which is very nice, because I'm not... Or, well, that's actually not true. I do like story games and stuff, but I've never really been into the visual novel. Oh, that's just the intro. Uh, it's, I can't read through that. Too fast. Okay. You know what? No, no, no well, I'm going to skip it. The story is basically... It's the future, dystopian future, somewhere 2070-something, maybe? Thank you. It's just playing comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. Sit, so sit back and relax. We hope you have a good time. Because we... That is cool. Because we are actually going to a bar, you know. I think we're going to be bartenders. But uh, where we're basically going to meet all these people. Oh. Edelhide. Oh god, this is, a, this is a lot to throw me off right off the bat. Anna? Does that... Oh god, I'm going to have to do voices while I'm sick. Okay. Psst. Hey, over here. Oh, the monitor. Boo! How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. Tuxedo-clad corgis? Tuxedo-clad corgis? I love corgis. If it's the dog we're talking about. I think it did say that this game does include a lot of dogs. And I'll admit my little prank over you might have been a little bit overboard. I remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but uh, yeah, you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally take out that parcel you just got. See ya. Oh, so she's... She's... She's glitching. Does that mean she's not real? She did also just break the fourth wall, so... Jill. Oh, 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 okay, um, j just a dream, okay. Hmm, there's something near the door. Chapter 1, Primera. Hmm, so apparently the Valhalla is sort of like a bar oasis where we're gonna meet a lot of different people. I don't know how I'm gonna cut up this video because it's mostly reading and story, so it, it's not like I can cut out any necessarily gameplay parts because it's all gonna matter. Never mind, we're gonna keep going. Future me, God, God bless you, I hope you know how to edit this video. If not, then I'm sorry, because you're going to have to sit through this one. Your membership to the Shining Finger will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least 800 bucks by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. Wow, I would have loved to have a Life Backup app. You can now browse the Occumented Eye, and also there's sort of like a Big Brother thing going on, like there's people being controlled with nano chips or something it's in the story welcome Jill so where's that letter from wait four who's four welcome Jill hold to unlock okay I, I did it I, I figured out how to open okay what this is weird okay Who's for? So who is that letter from? Nobody. What is this? So I need to get money. Okay, okay, so maybe there is actually some gameplay to this. Life back up. Save. Um, okay, that save. Yes, there you go. Day one, room. Wonderful. Now at least okay. Never mind. Go to work, I guess? I don't really know how this interface works yet. But I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot of the same, so I'm gonna get used to it. Give, g evening. Good evening. Uh, like a uh, good evening would have been fine, but evening. Okay. Ah, that hi. Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will it? When will you admit you have a John face skill? I don't know the voices I'm gonna do. By the way, that music is. Whew, whew, that is. Yeah, I'm gonna need to turn that down just a tad. That is pretty loud. You let people call you Jules? 
So his name is Jillian, and her name is Jill. Okay, that's gonna be a bit confusing. Probably not, but... Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's the boss? Don't know, she went out to buy some stuff and... Did, did you hear that I what I just told you? You said something? Yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. Oh, it's it's nothing. I'm just I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? I have to pay rent by the thirtieth, which is always stressful. And ah, uh, as well as the fact that I have to spend a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life been shaking up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering 4 left me with completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. Is that the cat? Neutering 4? Is that the cat? Are we talking about a talking cat here? Well, it, there are talking dogs from what I've heard, so why not cats? And there's all that beer cans around my apartment that... Jill... S -s Sorry, d d did, you, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can! Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book. That will show up on the top left. Top left? There's no... Look for the recipe using... You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet. And type like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Jill. When done, press the mix button, then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button, or the drink itself, or the drink itself to serve it, and that'll be all. Oh, but if you, if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can't press reset at any time, even while the shaker's moving. Don't be afraid to use. It. Jill, I'm not the one that went through the formal BTC instru instruction. Then this should be no problem. <sighs> Jill wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up ingredients or the drink, I can press the reset button and try again. Oh, okay. Also, nice face up here. I don't, I don't even know if my mouse is recording. Is my mouse actually recording? Oh, I think, okay, I think we're back. I think it recorded my mouse. I just wanted to be sure because this looks like a mouse-based game. Jill wants either a sugar rush or a piano man if I mess up the ingredients or the drink I can press the reset button and try again. Okay. Use the navigation bar. What navigation bar? Oh, oh, by flay. Oh, it's this. Okay. Sweet drinks. Just by name. Piano man. Yeah, let's go with the piano man. It's two Adelheid, three bronze and extract, five powder delta, five flanner guide, and three caramel train. All on the rocks and mixed. Are we just mixing straight up chemicals here? This drink does not represent the opinions of the bar, pianist, union, or its associates. Sour, promo, strong. Okay, so two Edelheid. Is this gonna get really fast paced at some point? Three bronze and extract. Oh, cool, so I can see like how many I got here. Is there a fast way to do that? I wonder. Five. Um. Can I just do this quickly? I don't remember if he told me that. So five, five, and then three camo train. Right? Oh, what a what a lovely shake! Just slowly wobble that baby around. Oh wait, I'm, am I supposed to click it? Oh shoot! I forgot on the rocks, didn't I? Stop! Oh stop! Oh my! Oh, I shook it for way too long. Okay, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We're only wasting resources, right? Or maybe we, are, we actually aren't wasting resources and we got infinite of those. That would be great if I was, wasn't working with a limited amount. But it would be more realistic if I was. Oh, okay, I, I did it. Okay, maybe it shouldn't... I don't... That confuses me a bit. I don't quite know how long I'm supposed to shake it because I'm guessing that varies from drink to drink too. But it doesn't matter. We got a piano man. Here, happy. 
Yes, very. I stand corrected. Well, no, I messed that up like five times. Okay. Now let's get working. Oh, yeah, before I forget. Uh, hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Recipe already has over 10 ingredients. Okay. So more than I can fill in the bar down here, right? Or maybe, I don't know. What if the recipe says it uses optional carmatrine? It means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional carmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Carmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Hey guys! Oh boy, who's that? I don't know, found her while I was shopping. Why bring her here? Well, was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious body in here. She's gonna make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. That's up for you to deal with, I'll be in my office. You can't just push the responsibility onto us, we have work to do, damn it. Dick, damn it. There's two of you, believe in yourselves. <sighs> Do you think the chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowning. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that was the case. It's not like her and it's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay, then time to start the night. Yeah, I'll get to, Yeah, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? Well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what. We've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Jill, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who'd make a joke like that? Well, um... So as punishment for leaving me to deal with all that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun. J just that? Fine, I, I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. Y you brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. <laughs> that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. I like the day. I like the beats right now. I don't know why we gotta need new music. This model needs to have all of its twelve slots filled with songs before it can start. Wonder what was the logic behind that decision? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Please select the song. Oh, so that's just basically the OST, isn't it? I don't know if it's gonna get. I hope we're not gonna get copyrighted for this. Every night is an eye. Okay, we'll just go with this. Cool, man. I like the soundtrack. Hey, you. Get me a beer. Oh, sure. Right on it. He wants a beer. He looks quite the big guy, though. Say, okay, so this isn't like... Okay, I think actually I might be good because this isn't a speed type of game. He wants a beer. And just beer. One Edelheid. That, that makes it cool, because it already it already said that I needed to grab a drink, just relax. So I think this is actually going to be one of them relaxing sort of games. All mixed. Okay. Hey, okay, so apparently I'm not supposed to do it that long? I don't know. Here you go. No, no, this isn't going to cut it. Give me a big one. I'm sure. Be th that beer wasn't enough, apparently. Okay, so big beer. So that is two ale hide. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we got a big one. Beer. Big beer. You, you glad now? How about this one? Ah, yes, no. That's one fit for a man like me. Right. You're lucky I wasn't meeting her close by. 
this LL could certainly use a presence like mine. Although to be fair, we're just taking me to the worst LLs, like New Jersey 3. Huh. Oh. What kind of work do you do, mister? I talk to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing get published there without my blessings. Hmm, the day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for all the barrage of the daily articles on the Alice Rabbit then? Hey, people love those articles, they love reading about the urban legend. Can you blame him? The idea of some wildcard hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shoot that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. I'm not gonna swear, because I'm pretty swear free, and I don't wanna... Well, well maybe, I don't, I don't know. And, it clicks and clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars, and houses, and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Ew. Or not ew, but that's just a bit weird, isn't it? Well, I guess with all the nano chips and stuff, it's fine. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. So if it isn't even news, it's just speculation or copycats. I can't even read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make useful full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker. But not, a, but not all daily stories are about murders and other horrors. Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as it is. I don't need it. I don't need to add glitch Sadie's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get dissent. Dis. <laughs> people get bored of certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Death's not enough, they need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends, they're easier to write about, and you can make up any sh** you want. If I forget to edit that out, then that's because I, I, I want to censor that, or not, I don't want to censor that, I just don't want to swear, because stuff. Spam them while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Uh, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes certain something should be sodomist. The worst part about that is that they know half of our clicks come from them. So they get all diva like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about? Wait, I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the, the column, the columnist on your page isn't are annoying. See, the kid on the restaurant critique column. Uh, shoot, f forgot the Brad's name. Restaurant, I believe that's the kid. That kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the la least visited of the bunch. He gets little hits. He he. Uh, my English, sorry. He gets less hits than the obituaries or he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits how so he rarely writes about the places and the newspaper sends him to I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. You look like a fat child with a really small face. No. It wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Cheaper in bulk at the store though. True. But let's get so let's give this man a proper beer. So that's just Two of those, okay. There we go. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mix. And boom, you got a beer. Okay, let's just serve the beer. Here. Ah, it's a bit big things that make my life worthwhile. That that could be taken out of context. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. The place smells like soap and dog pee. I don't know. I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here. Oh wait, that's Jillian, oh my god. Hey, I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. Who is that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in a hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really, at least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shite. You don't make me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people, especially the red carpet kind of famous, those folks pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love, fall from grace? What do you think that gossip is all about fame? About famous, pe famous people always sell. People pretend that they love celebrities, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They really want to see them suffer, to get their comeuppance for daring to be such success, so more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living in someone else's. Sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy saw in a ra- what, what do I care- uh, What do I care if this guy I saw in a random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh please, as a bartender I bet you always have your strong, voyeuristic streak. You kind, your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers, this sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, I, I don't sensationalize on what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day I saw this committee judge bitching over what's, what some girl was wearing it to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones consistently cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways and indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude that plays in the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help. Sensationalizing, sensationalizing everything. Feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. Like your big words, eh, Brad? Well, two people can play that game of... Mm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? Normal lap rat hellbent on the world conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I've just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Would you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like the priests who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have ghostwriting half of our story to do that. The staff to do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Failures. And anyway, eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. 
Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retired, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. You want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. D did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Well, it's just the title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's just too general, but Mr. Donovan. That's more like it. They're referring to me. To the man in front of them. Not to my family. Not to my position as boss. To me. This guy is a little... He's a little on the egoistic side. Egotistical. I don't, I don't remember the word in English. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, God, no, but I do want... I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks. But rather because I strike mortal dread in them. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah. You were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one? Do you? Ah, yeah, yeah. But I need to cut myself off. I just remembered I have a night shift later. Give me something bitter and big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. I can do that. Bitter. Big. Okay. Bitter. You know what? Oh, either the sunshine cloud, the gut punch, or the pile driver. Oh. Doesn't burn as hard as your tongue, but better not have a sore throat when drinking it. Bitter, manly, and burning. Oh, that does sound like you, doesn't it? Uh, innards, flavor, bitter, oh. Bitter, girly, soft. Mm -mm, that's not this guy. I'm gonna go with the pile driver. That sounds awesome. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is kind of easy when you learn it, and it's so cool. But I bet they're still gonna, like, all mixed. Okay, so there's no three. Oh, wait, I forgot. Um... Yeah, that's six, right? I didn't mess anything up. I just need to add more of that. One, two, three. There we go. And then mix it. Done. The pile driver. Let's go. Here. Kid, I just said I need to stop alcohol. Not that I need it more. Sorry, force of habit. Say, kid. Does this bar have any investors? They didn't call it a hellhole? That was a bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stand his face all over the place. I forgot! God dang it! I forgot he didn't want, to, want alcohol! He didn't say that at the bottom, he just said something bitter to wake him up. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there's no local, local investors. Why? Just wants to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Wow. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in my company. Or in the company. I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their nose and start changing the silliest of stuff. How good is it to be the, be the boss? What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I can make someone else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do that? Why don't you do what the other newspaper does? Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when when I do what they want to do and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah, 
I should not have given that guy more alcohol, should I? I should not have given that guy more alcohol. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. Never heard from him again. Jail! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The, the ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh. You'll wake up Briar Rose over there. Oh, I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, client. Well, to the Valhalla. What can I... Big gut punch. Fast. All right. He wants gut punch. I'm gonna give him a gut punch. Okay. Uh, what is it? bitter drinks? Gut punch. Okay, so ten of those. Oh wait, no, no, that's wrong. Okay, reset. Okay. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Wait, he doesn't want it big. Okay, never mind. I I messed up again. Oh, uh, water flanner guide, and optional. Let's give this guy a little tipsy. All aged and mixed. What does age mean? I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, it's gonna go well. Okay. There we go, gut punch. There we go. Here. Hmm. You can actually do it then. This crack house is a bar. Hellhole. Crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, mister Ingram McDocknell. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do. Make your experience more pleasant regardless. I'll pay you. Will you come with me to the motel for a couple of hours? What? No. I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. Also, I'm gonna have to end this here. I don't know if I'm gonna do more because this game, it's 10 hours long. And it's a lot of reading. And it's primarily just gonna be reading. Like, you see the little mini game over here? That's just something you do every once in a while. It's not like a permanent thing. It, it, or it's not like a... It's not a rush game. It's not a restaurant rush. It's just... A visual novel with a slight twist, which I really like, and it was cool to try out, and I'm definitely gonna play it on my own, I'm, I'm, but I'm probably not gonna record anymore for the channel just because it's not, it's not very good for uploading, I'd say. Visual novels don't just, it just don't really work that well, and when the clients are so different, it's just, it's just listening to clients, like, they're, so far I'm not really detecting a main story, there probably is. But I think it's more about the world and the clients that come in and stuff, and I think that's really cool. So when we got done with the first Mr. Donovan, I think it's time to wrap up before this guy takes off another hour. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in whatever the heck I make next. Peace.